Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a TV remote, just like this one right here, with a power button that is not working. I'll specifically be showing you and telling you how to fix it easily with six simple things that you can try out. I'm gonna place my camera down and hold the remote and I'll tell you the things that you can try out. This is actually a cable box remote just for full transparency and disclosure, but it's gonna be the same steps. They're gonna be the same steps and processes um, with a TV box remote, with a TV remote. Not a TV box, but like a television set. So let's get into this. Number one, change the batteries. I know you might think that, oh, I just put those batteries in, but you know what, guess what? They might have been dead batteries or low, low quality or low voltage batteries to begin with. So change the batteries. It does no harm. And worst case scenario, if the remote still doesn't work, then guess what? You could just put the old batteries back in because you know it probably wasn't the batteries, okay? So that's number one, change the batteries. Number two, make sure that no other buttons are jammed down. This one's super important. That's why I put it at the beginning. A lot of content creators would save it till the end, you know, to make you stay for it. But honestly, it's super important. So I wanted to give it to you right away. If a button is jammed down and you're trying to press the power button and it's not working, that jammed down button is gonna prevent the power button from working. So look at the buttons, make sure nothing is jammed down. Believe it or not, that's a big cause of a remote power button not working to turn on the actual television set, to turn on the actual TV unit itself. If that doesn't help you out and no buttons are jammed down, move on to number three. Is it the right remote? Nowadays, you might have three, four, five TVs in your house. That might mean remotes everywhere, right? Especially if you have kids, they might switch the remotes. You don't know, they're playing with the remote. Very, very simple, I have four young kids. So trust me, the remote's just gonna go all different directions, okay? So is it the right remote? Make sure for 100% sure that it's the right remote. If you know that it's the right remote, you can move on. If not, you need to determine whether or not it is the right remote. That is number three, ask yourself, is it the right remote? Number four, is the TV plugged in and working properly. You might think that the remote button is not working, but maybe it's the whole TV itself. So is the TV plugged in? Is the outlet working? Is the TV working properly itself? What I would recommend, try to turn on and off the TV from the button on the TV. My TV has it at the back, that's why I'm going like this. Um, try and push the power button on the TV to turn the TV set on and off and make sure that the TV itself works. Then you can rule this out. If that doesn't help you out, move on to number five, which is try to reprogram the remote. So essentially, you have your remote, you're gonna try and reprogram it to the TV. Maybe the remote works, but maybe it's lost its programming to that specific TV set. So try to reprogram the remote, and if that doesn't help you out, and you've you know, tried to reprogram it and it still doesn't work, then move on to number six, which is to make sure that the remote setting is set towards controlling the TV. In many, on many remotes, and in many remote control sets, uh, basically TV remotes, whatever you wanna call them, there's gonna be different buttons. It might say TV, cable, audio, VCR, DVD, whatever the case is, right? In order to turn on the TV, you need either one of two things to happen. It needs to either say TV power, which this one has a specific button that is geared towards turning on the TV power, or you need to press the TV button to control it and then power. And make sure your TV button is programmed to that specific TV. Your TV button might be programmed to a DVD player. You don't know that, right? Hopefully you know that, but it might be the case. So make sure you're actually using the right TV setting to press the power button to turn on the TV. And that's it, hopefully one of those works for you and hopefully you get your TV remote control power button working properly again to turn on the TV, uh, to turn it off, to use it and blah, blah, blah. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.